Alright, you know what? We're gonna try to spear this Jeep off the cliff. Oh, there we go! Oop! Oh, oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh! Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here for you guys. Hey, another episode of Beeman G Drive. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with a brand new mod. So today we're going to be checking out the traffic tool. And I am really, really excited for this. So if you recall, we played a couple scenarios as of recent that actually had AI traffic. And uh, this is a new tool that adds that to free roam maps. But not only does it do that, it actually has a little mode in here where I think we could probably create some of the most awesome police chases uh, that we've ever done. So, a brief explanation of the tool, which by the way, this is made by Goal. And if you want to check out uh, the tool, it's linked down in the description. Plus, there's a YouTube channel where I kind of learned how to use this thing uh, that the creator has too. So, what we have here, we've got the total number of AI cars. So, we're going to set this to 4. Uh, I've got the speed limit. You can uh, move this up and down. We're going to go with 80 kilometers per hour. And there's a respawn rate. I'm not really sure exactly how this works. Uh, but the rate that I saw that he had on his video was 1.2. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click spawn. And boom, look at this. We have four AI cars in front of us. Now, I do believe you could select the AI cars by spawning them yourself and then just activating them. Uh, so, yeah, you've got four up here. Now, what we could do, there's different AI modes. You have normal, flee, chase, which I think we'll be able to use this chase mode in spawn police cars and actually have them dynamically uh, spawn in front of us, which is really cool. So, uh, we'll just leave them on, I guess, normal here, and we'll go ahead and hit activate. And there they go. They're going to take off. Now, they still do kind of run into each other. There is an option for AI awareness, which kind of makes it where the AI will try to avoid collisions. Uh, it's not perfect. I've seen some pretty janky stuff happen with it, but yeah, watch this. All right, so I'm going to start picking up speed here. Uh, we're going to actually pass some of the AI traffic. So just keep your eyes open here. You're going to start to see AI cars spawning in front of us, but check this out. It's like we're actually playing like an open world game with AI uh, traffic. So there's more up here. Uh, if I were to switch roads, oh, that one kind of spawned a little, a little strange. Oh, there's that one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> huh, did they avoid me? Oh, they're not even here anymore. So yeah, this is something that I think is really, really neat. Uh, it is currently, I think, still being worked on. There's probably a couple things they need to iron out. I know they said the AI awareness was a little janky, which we're going to go ahead. Uh, let's activate that real quick, and we'll uh, see what happens here. So I'm going to get going on this side of the road. I see him still spawning on the other side, so it looks like we have traffic in the oncoming lanes. Uh, let's see if they'll start spawning ahead of us here. That is so cool. I don't know why that one's going that way. Uh, that's <laughs> Maybe it's a drunk driver. I'm not really sure. Yeah, look, there's even cars coming down the, uh, the road there. This is... Ouch. That was... Okay, so apparently some of the cars like to come up the wrong way here. But yeah, check this out. There's actual traffic driving around us right now. Uh, it's not perfect as far as uh, the oncoming lanes and them figuring everything out, but this is pretty impressive. So question is... Can we have some sort of police chase with this? Alright, so one thing we're going to try real quick. So I've spawned in three AI cop cars. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the sirens. Now, in theory, instead of it being random, they're going to be nothing but cop cars spawning now since I've spawned them in. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch the respawn rate. And I've got them set to chase. I hope that means they're going to chase me and not each other. Uh, we'll have to see here. I'm going to leave AI awareness off because... I'm afraid they're going to avoid me. Like, I want them to actually try to hit me here. So let's go ahead and go activate. Uh, it, wait, are they coming after me? They are. So now what should happen if I get away from them? It should start to spawn uh, cop cars. Yeah, there's one up the road here. But does the cop know to turn around and come after me? Or what's the deal here? Uh, we just easily outran the other ones. What's this one going to do? Oh, his sirens are on and everything. Oh, Dude, this actually works. Uh, it's a little laggy every time a new vehicle spawns in. You'll feel a little hitching. But other than that, this is incredible. Look at this. So we have the cops behind us here. And I'm pretty sure we'll have one spawn in front of us at some point. So really, you could set up police escape anywhere. So you could say, we're going to start in one side of the map and we'll have to end up in the other. 
Except for you don't have to worry about the AI just getting lost and just running into trees. Like, this is uh, pretty legit. This is probably one of the coolest mods I've seen in Beam and G. Oh, jeez. Dude, they are still in hot pursuit here. I haven't had any spawn in front of me. All right, so those two look like they're about disabled. So I wonder if there's like a radius as to where they disappear. And uh, hold on, we're almost out of the tunnel here. I'm kind of fearing that somebody, look at this. There's another two up here waiting on me. Ooh, gotta get around him here. Ooh, there we go. Okay, let's, uh, let's, oh, look at that. They're coming off the side streets too. Oh, this is cool. All right, this might be, this is the coolest thing now. Like, uh, it's official. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in Beam and G. We can have, like, these awesome police chases, and I don't have to worry about the AI being completely stupid. Like, look, look here's two. One's coming this way. Oh, he's going to block me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, okay, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, there's one over there. Uh-oh. Uh, I think I'm disabled. Yeah, my back right wheel is aimed the wrong direction. I can't believe how good this works. So, question is, if I were to repair here, am I still the target vehicle? I would assume so. So let me go, boom. If I take off, I am still the target vehicle. Dude, this just made police chases so much easier. All right, you know, I feel like we actually have to do a legit round of police escape here. So, uh-oh, and I just died. This also, I think, is gonna make police chases a lot harder. Wait. Did they just stop their sirens because they got to me? Okay, they all just repaired. And they're driving away. So I think I read that there's a thing that once they actually stop you and figure out that that's a thing, they, they're done. They actually drive off, and you're seeing that right now. Like, if I had the AI set to chase, they would continue to go after me in the old mode. But now, once they stop me, they actually just stopped, and they went driving away. So if I were to reset here, am I a new target? Hold on, let's see. A am I? Are you going after me? No, they're not. So how do we get that to reset? Would I hit active again? Okay, I'm trying to see if I can antagonize them to chase me again. Uh, I don't think they're actually coming after me. Hold on, let's uh... Maybe if I bump one of them, will that uh, tick them off? Actually, we're going in the wrong direction. Oh, look at that! He's active on me again! So, I don't know what actually caused that, but yeah, he's coming after me now. That is so cool. So yeah, look, that one just activated its sirens. So yeah, they turned on the sirens all by themselves. And now they're coming after me again. Oh man, I, I want to try this on so many different maps. I know uh, the creator said it's not perfect on every map. Uh, it said West Coast USA actually has some issues uh, just with AI traffic in general as far as where they go. But oh, no, 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 uh oh. Up, 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 oh. Ooh, uh-oh, huh, on, we're still good. We are definitely screwed. Oh, geez, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. I feel like I'm going to let them stop me here. So let's let them have their day. They should stop. They'll turn off the sirens and they'll go about their merry way. See, the sirens are off. Uh, he should hopefully back out. And <laughs> Yeah, he resets and he tries to leave. I think I'm in his way right now. Let me go and reset my car. Okay, so we're going to do a police escape here. I'm going to pull over on the side of the road. Uh, hopefully they don't just say, hey, I want to arrest you. All right, there we go. We're stopped. So we're going to call this escape. We're going to actually try this. We're going to start here. Hmm. I'm going to say it's going to be the opposite side of the map, not the highway or the bridge tunnel. I'm going to make us go up the map and we'll see just what the AI's got here. Our escape point, I think this is called the visitor center. It's going to be up here. So I have to find my way up the cliff and, uh, actually I don't even know the route up here. I don't know, just keep going up. Okay, I see a cop driving down here. You know, just ignore me. I'm not doing anything wrong. Everything's fine. There's a cop over there. All right. Uh, let's gun it. Let's do this. All right, let's see if we... Uh-oh. Ooh, I, you know, I think I have to go maybe above the speed limit. The 80 kilometers. Is that what it is? I bet you that's what it is, actually. That's the speed limit here. Okay. Yep, there they go. One in pursuit. Uh, the other ones don't seem to be aggroed on me yet. Uh oh, come on, come on. Totally, whoa, okay, I'm just gonna pass you here. Uh, let's see. Oh, man, okay, I only ticked one off and I actually got away from them. It's like the others didn't notice what I was doing. Okay, I see sirens now, they're after me. 
Okay, ooh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Uh. Okay, he's waiting on me. You know, I wonder, would they use the, uh. Oh, what was the little tool? The little yellow tool, the wheel grabber. I wonder if they would use that if I put them on. Uh, that could be a thing. Uh, we're getting away here. I know uh, I've got a lot of cops mad at me right now. Uh, there's another one up here. Ooh, oh, he's stopping, he's stopping. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Oh, this one's ticked off at me. I gotta find a way around him. Uh, let's go left side. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, slow down a little bit. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's not like he crashed. Oh, yeah, he did. Uh, no, 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 no. This is so insane, and it's unlimited cops. Like, they're not gonna stop until I say, hey, don't spawn anymore. This is amazing. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, there we go. Good guy by that one. Oh, he's probably turning around. So at any point, I can add more to the spawn. Like, I can have them spawn in. Uh, whatever your computer can handle. I just figured uh, when the spawn happens, it does lag a little bit. I could probably get away with, like, one more. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you know what? Go this way, go this way. Uh oh, is my left front, is it broken? Uh, oh yeah, it's leaned a little bit over to the side. Okay, no, no, no. Oh, this is bad. I just want to get up to the top of the hill. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, 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 no. Wow. Okay, this AI is uh, is definitely really aggressive. Uh, Wait, the visitor center is just right there. I need to get, oh, I think he's trying to kill me. Hold on. No, 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 that's rocks. Uh oh. All right, let's see if we can keep moving. Okay, I'm still moving. I'm still moving. They haven't... Uh-oh, I think I'm stuck. Hold on. Does this have... No! I'm stuck! They actually stopped me before I could get to the, uh, the center. Uh, aren't you gonna arrest me at least? That is so cool. All right, was... All right, was there other cops? Uh, I don't see any others spawned along the road. You know, I guess the only thing that you do lose by doing this is the whole fact that, yes, they do despawn a lot. Uh, so you're not going to be able to go back and, like, check the remnants of the cops and stuff like that. All right, we're going to do one more reset on these. I'm, I'm going to do normal traffic again and see how it spawns up on a road like this. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and have them activate. Okay, so I'm going to let them get away a little bit and kind of drive. They're actually starting to spread out, but you can see the AI is actually reacting to the car in front of it. All right, you know, it's actually not too laggy once they get moving and away from you. So if I just keep driving, we should see some start to go in the oncoming lanes. And what I really like is the whole fact of if there's like an intersection or something, the AI won't follow the same path. Like, look, this guy, oh, I thought he was going to go to the right. A lot of times you'll see them actually turn and like one will go one way and one will go the other. So it's like almost like completely random. Uh, I really love that aspect of it. Okay, I'm not 100% sure if we're going to get uh, cars going the opposite direction here. This looks like it's a, is this a one way road? I can't really tell. I'm going to pass this one here. Oh, get out of my way. Get out of my way. I don't think we both fit here. There we go. All right, so we get in front of that one. I think it's spawning in new ones. I can feel it chugging a bit. Uh oh, look at this. Oh, they actually had a crash up here. Okay. I'm just going to pass that. Oh, that was a rock. That looked like it hurt. Yep. We, uh, we now have AI going in both directions now. I think I have destroyed my vehicle. Hold on. Let's hit the brakes here. There we go. Oh, oh, don't want to hit that one. So, question is, okay, let's go ahead, let's up this. Let's put them into uh, really, really fast speeds. Uh, let's go and activate that. Oh, you could hear him just punch it. So now, this is going to be a little crazy, because now the, uh, the speed is supposed to be 160 kilometers per hour. And this is a road with a lot of those vehicles. That's not going to happen. Oh, yeah, they're definitely going faster. <laughs> Look at that. Uh oh, is he going to be able to avoid us? Nope. And we just had a collision. Yeah, you can have a lot more dynamic crashes, too, because, I mean, you legit don't know where this is coming from half the time. Uh oh, I think we are stuck right now. Oh, well, looks like we've had another collision. This 160 uh, kilometers is playing havoc on the AI right now. Oh, man. I'm trying to think of what other maps we could possibly do with this. Maybe Matrix Highway would be a map that would be kind of cool. Uh, you would have to spawn in more. I could probably get away with at least two or three more cars on that one. Yeah, there's a lot of possibilities of stuff you could do with this. Let's check this out. I mean, they're just spawning right in front of us. It feels like any other game now. 
Like, it feels almost like a GTA or something. All right, you know what? We're gonna try to spear this Jeep off the cliff. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that is awesome. So we will be using that more. You will see that more in Police Escape. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for scenarios, comment below. But that's not the only thing we're gonna be checking out here today. I've got one more thing I wanna look at. So the next thing we're gonna be checking out is actually a demolition derby mod. This is called a realistic derby project. So apparently this is a mod, which I'm gonna go ahead and go into scenarios here, and I'm gonna pull up the map that you can do this with. So apparently this is a mod where you can kind of customize your uh, your derby cars, which we're gonna go ahead and click into it because I have yet to actually play with this. And uh, it's supposed to be a lot more realistic. I think you can spawn up to like 17 derby cars, which is pretty insane. Uh, so we're going to see uh, just how many cars we can get in the arena. I'm curious about the AI. Are they going to all go after me or are they going to actually run into each other here? So yeah, you can see, it uh, looks like we're dealing with the little dust bowl out here. We've got your classes of cars, uh, mods. You can actually put some of the mods on. So you got like the Peter Derby, Derby Stuff Pack. Player vehicle we can select. Uh, we'll go basic derby. So I don't know how many cars. You can get up to 17 cars in this thing. That's insane. Let's go and try six maybe. All right. So if I hit start, what happens here? I want to check this out. All right. So, oh, look at this. Wait, look at this. They're actually not all going after me. They're doing a, a legit demo derby. Be serious. Geez, we could probably could have done an episode solely on this. So, there's a lot of customization options here as far as what types of derbies you want to see. Uh, actually, I'm getting really, really good frames per second right now. Uh, actually, surprisingly good. Like, I feel like we could spawn in even more. Uh, and let's start slamming into people. So, it looks like they've modified some of the cars. Uh, you can see all the windows and stuff are knocked out. They're actually like legit derby cars. And I do like the whole fact that it looks like the AI is actually using like the rears of the cars and actually attacking each other. This is pretty cool. Uh, wait, is that car out? No, that car's still going. Oh, I've got something wrong here. Uh, feels like something's broken on one of the wheels. Oh, oh, we're getting slammed into. Ooh. Ooh, this is a like playing. I guess you could say a little bit like Wreckfest. Wreckfest is pretty over the top. Like I would definitely say it's a lot more realistic as far as the uh, the derbies and what we're seeing here. Like Wreckfest, you have those big hits where people go flying, flipping, and uh, if you watch real derby videos, eh, you don't see that typically too much. So you know what, before we finish this, I feel like we can ramp this up. Alright, we're gonna try this with 12 vehicles now. Uh, hey, this actually looks pretty good. Uh, it's running still solid, I don't know how we're accomplishing this. So I saw some other options, it looks like eventually they're gonna have some like races, figure 8 races and stuff like that. Uh, that might be something we can check out here relatively soon, but I think we're going to have ourselves a good old derby. It's actually really hard to see anybody through this. Wow, it's kind of hard to believe that we can go for another five vehicles if we want it. Uh, it's a little hard to fathom here in Beam and G. Alright, so how do you actually take people down when their cars are all kind of built up here? Uh, let's see if we get a hit. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to try to use the rear of the vehicle. That way I don't take myself out here. Uh, boom! Dude, we have a dog pile here. Uh, that pile is not moving much. I think some people are going to start blowing engines here. So I hear a bunch of people wide open and they're not really moving anywhere. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. Here we come. Oh, that was a pretty good hit there. Oh, we got hit again. All right, I still have quite a bit of bumper here. Uh, or at least the back end of the vehicle. I can use, uh, use a bit more. I'm trying to still avoid using my front end for now. I mean, there's a lot of people with some burnt up motors. It actually looks like some people are dying. Uh, some of the other cars are actually dying now. Uh, so we might be getting down to uh, being close to being able to win here. I'm going to do something really stupid here. Wait, wait, did they I die? Uh, there's still a couple moving. Let's see if we can hit somebody that's actually moving. Here we go. Uh, oh, right there uh, towards the engine. Uh, do I still have a bumper bar? I've got something down there. I, can't, I don't even know if it's a bar. Oh, it's just back into this one here. Alright, I need to figure out a way to take some engines out. Uh, the AI is doing a pretty good job of taking themselves out, but it's not over yet. Ooh. Wow! 
All right, I'm starting to see a little bit of white smoke from my vehicle. That is, uh, it's not a good sign. Wait, it's calling people out? What does that mean? Uh, is it somebody sandbagging and not trying to hit people, or? I'm not really sure what the call out means. I, I can't tell who's who, so. Uh, maybe there's a way I can pull up names. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna get sandwiched here. Uh, I can't tell. It looks like most of the vehicles over on this side are dead, so. Uh, let's keep working on what's behind me here. Yeah, look at that smoke. That doesn't look good. That engine's about to be expired. Who's the car going crazy out here? Let's see if we can nail him. Uh, no! <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, I can see my radiator. Uh, that is exposed right now, Haunt. Let's nail this guy from this way. Uh, we got a little bit of smoke. I think everybody's smoking now. Uh, I think we're down to about four vehicles left. Uh, five, including me. Uh, no, it looks like there might be one more moving over there. Actually, I think it's destroyed, Han. Let's try to hit this one. Uh, ah, there we go. <laughs> Took a fender off there. Uh, my reverse isn't working nearly as good as it was. I don't wonder if I've broken something in the transmission. Uh, boom! Was that a takedown? Oh, that was a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I might be stuck. Is he still going? I think I actually got a... Uh oh no, engine's dying. No, 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 no. No, I think I'm done. I think the engine just died on me. I'm trying to restart it here. Ah, she's overheating, huh? Let's let it set for a second. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, how many vehicles are left? Is it really just me and this other one? Yeah, she's not. Oh, actually, no, there's another one over there. I think it's like maybe third place. That is so awesome. All right, we definitely could uh, do some more there. Uh, that's going to be a cool mod once they add some more stuff. Uh, we'll have to see what else this is compatible with because I'm curious about the other locations. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Beam and G Drive. This was kind of cool. Got to check out two really cool mods. Uh, for sure, you're probably going to see both of these back here relatively soon. Uh, we'll try some more AI police chases and some more wacky derby combinations. But I do want to thank you guys for the love and support on the channel. You guys are absolutely awesome. And we will see you guys next time.